Today's video was inspired by Cesar Blanco, and in today's mental health subject, we're going to be talking about the difference between acting in good faith and acting out of desperation. When it comes to good mental health, one of the most crucial distinctions uh, we can make is between uh, acting in good faith and desperation. There's quite a difference, but one has a profound impact on our well-being. Acting on good faith means taking on actions and making decisions that align with the values of our goals, even when it's hard. It's about being honest with ourselves and acknowledging our weakness and working on how to overcome them. On the other hand, a desperation is about getting what we want, no matter the cost. It's about forcing solutions, you know, pretending to be someone that we're not and trying to control the uncontrollable. This distinction is so crucial because when we act out of desperation, we can actually be causing more harm to ourselves than good. Maintaining good health is always and will always be a constant struggle. One of the biggest challenges we will face in this tension between our uh, general intentions and our desperate actions is we just ultimately want to be happy in the end. We want to be healthy, but often we end up doing the very things that maybe um, prevent us from achieving our goals in life. We might overcommit to ourselves, you know, maybe try to please everyone or pretend to be okay when we're actually not. We might even try to numb our emotions or distract ourselves from the pain rather than facing them head on. The problem is that these uh, desperate actions might provide, you know, maybe temporary relief, but they ultimately lead more suffering in the long run. We maybe might try to justify our desperate actions by telling ourselves that we're doing it for the right reasons. We might say we're doing it for our loved ones, for our careers, or maybe for our own self-preservation. Uh, but deep down, we know that that's just, that's just simply not true. We know that we're acting out of fear or out of anxiety, or maybe out of deep-seated need for control. And when we do, uh, we end up ultimately sacrificing uh, our own well-being, our relationships, and our integrity. The ironic thing is desperation often uh, steams from, you know, place of good intentions. We want to be better, we want to be loved, and we want to be successful. And when we let those desires consume us, we will slowly start to sacrifice our values, our boundaries, and ultimately our mental health. We might start to lose sight of what's truly important in life, and we will ultimately end up living life that's not authentic, and not true to who we are. When we act out of desperation, we could end up potentially sabotaging our relationships, damaging our self-esteem, and exacerbating our mental health struggles. You know, this might be by pushing people away, we might be experiencing anxiety or depression, and we might even lose our sense of purpose in life. On the other hand, when we act in good faith, we build trust, we cultivate self-awareness and we develop a, a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. I remember a time I was struggling with anxiety and I would do whatever it took to avoid feeling it. I would distract myself with maybe social media, you know, I would overwork myself or I would try to like numb my emotions and substance. One day I realized that I was acting out of desperation and not for the good faith. I realized I was trying to escape my problems rather than facing them head on. And in that moment, I made a choice to take a uh, different path. I started, you know, practicing mindfulness. I started being honest with myself and I started to take small steps towards healing. That was a profound moment for me uh, because it marked a shift from desperations to good faith. It marked a shift from trying to control the uncontrollable to uh, surrender to what was. And in that surrender, I found a sense of peace and a sense of freedom and a sense of purpose. So what can we take away from this conversations in today's YouTube video? We can take away the importance of recognizing maybe the signs of desperation and strive to act in good faith. We can take away the importance of being honest with ourselves and acknowledging our weakness and working on how to overcome them. And then we can take away the importance of 
uh, cultivating self-awareness, trust, and integrity in our daily lives. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day for spending your time here on this video on just, you know, talking about uh, good faith versus desperation. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way, form, or matter. Like I always say in these videos, you're more than welcome to share your stories in the descriptions. I'm more than happy to read and respond. And you can also leave any suggestions for the next topics video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Adam from Team SOS. In case I don't see you on the next one, make sure you have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening, and most importantly, good night. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.